Hello, and thank you for watching this video on HUD's Housing Counseling Program. My name is Gayla Bynum, and I'm a program analyst in HUD's Center for Faith-Based and Neighborhood Partnerships. If you don't already have a copy, the slides for this video can be found on our website at www.hud.gov forward slash offices forward slash FBCI. In an effort to bring more information about HUD programs to you, the faith and nonprofit community, we have partnered with HUD's Office of Housing Counseling to tell about who they are and what they do. This video includes an overview of the housing counseling program, ways you can seek out their services on home buying or foreclosure prevention, and the steps your organization needs to take in order to become a HUD-approved agency. With me on the video, representing the Office of Housing Counseling is Dan Barry Carman. Associate Deputy Assistant Secretary. Dan Barry, thanks for joining us. Can you give us background information on the Office of Housing Counseling? Thank you, Gayla. <clears throat> it is a pleasure to work with your office once again. The mission of the Office of Housing Counseling is to help families to obtain, retain, and sustain their homes. We will accomplish this mission through a strong network of HUD approved. Okay. Let's go back to Danbury, right at you. Make sure you got your camera. And you got your camera now. And three, two, one, two down. Thank you, Gayla. It is a pleasure to work with your office once again. The mission of the Office of Housing Counseling is to help families to obtain, sustain, and retain their homes. We will accomplish this mission through a strong network of HUD-approved housing counseling agencies and counselors. Essentially, we provide support to a nationwide network of housing counseling agencies and their counselors. Housing counseling agencies are trained and provide, approved to provide tools to current and prospective homeowners, renters, so that they can make responsible choices to address their housing needs and like... Okay, Denver, come on. We know. We I got know. you. We, gotcha. we see you a little uneasy, right? Mm -hmm. we, we, we messed you brew up, okay? <laughs> it's, let's think apple pie and yogurt. Okay, let's get this done. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Yogurt. Uh, yogurt, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Vanilla ice cream. Aquila and the bee. Well, Aquila and the bee. Yeah, I don't know what that is. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm overthinking this. Uh, let me see. Um, okay, let's. Let's go. Slide one. And start, start with thank you, Gayla. Okay. Mm -hmm. And slide one. And three, two, one. Thank you, Gayla. It is a pleasure to work with your office once again. The mission of the Office of Housing Counseling is to help families to obtain, sustain, and retain their homes. We will accomplish this mission through a strong network of HUD-approved housing counseling agencies and counselors. Essentially, we provide support to a nationwide network of housing counseling agencies and counselors. Housing counseling agencies are trained and approved to provide tools to current and prospective homeowners and renters so that they can make responsible choices <clears throat> to address their housing needs in light of their financial situations. As you will see on the next PowerPoint slide, housing counseling has had some impact. Since 2009, over 13.2 million families have benefited. And recent HUD studies have found that nearly 70% of study participants obtain a mortgage remedy with the help of a foreclosure prevention counselor. And 35% of study participants became homeowners within 18 months of pre-purchase counseling. To give you a better idea about how it can benefit you, let's take a look at the scenario I overheard in the lunchroom recently. So my lease is coming up, and I'm not sure about renting anymore. Are you thinking about buying something? Well, I saw a couple of ads for first-time home buyer classes, but I'm not sure if I'm ready financially or what the next step should be to purchasing a home. I heard about these home buying counseling uh, agencies. Um, they're called housing counseling agencies. Okay. We should look into them and see how they can help you. Yeah, let's do that. Danbury, so what's the first step for them? 
The first step, Gayla, is to call a HUD approved housing counseling agency and set up an appointment to speak with a housing counselor. There are over 2,000 around the country and finding one in your area can be done via our website at www.hudexchange.info or by calling 1-800-569-4287 and search by zip code. On the PowerPoint slide, you can see the types of housing counseling services range from pre-purchase to reverse mortgage counseling. Plus, many agencies provide additional services like access to local down payment programs or special home buying programs offered by the city or state. Let's go back to our home buyer and see what happens. Good morning, how good, can I help you? Good morning, how are you doing? I'm here to meet with the housing counselor. Okay, if I can get you to sign in. Okay. And then if I can get you to take a seat, Kirby will be with you shortly. Thank you so much. You look a little nervous. I am, I'm a little anxious about first time buying a home and I'm also excited at the same time. Well, you came to the right place. Thank you. Our counselors will guide you through the process step by step and explain everything. Thank you. Questions are welcome too. Hi, are you Marcus? I am. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. My name is Kirby and I'll be your housing counselor for today. Okay. Let's go back to my office so we can get started. Sounds good. Good. That's wonderful. He took this step. What's going to happen now? The housing counselor will gather information from the potential home buyer regarding their finances, job, housing goals, etc. On slide four, you will see the goals of housing counselors will include one-on-one -on -one counseling, monitoring their progress, and inform them of home buying assistance programs they could be eligible for from the city or state. Let's switch gears a little. So far we've talked about helping a potential home buyer identify counseling resources available and how a housing counseling agency can help them navigate this process. What about nonprofits or church programs who are helping people with their housing needs like home buying or foreclosure prevention? Are there opportunities for them to become part of HUD's housing counseling network? Gayla, let's talk about how to become a HUD approved housing counseling agency. Our last video involves a local faith-based organization who has a housing advising program and who has also conducting some home buying workshops by partnering with the city's housing department. Having experience, having experience is very important to meet the eligibility requirements. Lots of organizations are doing this type of work already by providing home buyer education classes, foreclosure prevention counseling, and scam awareness instruction. Let's take a look at the next scenario. Hi, Josh. Hi. Did you put this information on my desk about approved HUD housing counseling agencies? Yes, I ran across this information. I thought we should look into it. We already meet many of the eligibility requirements, and why not become official? Hmm. Why do you think we meet the requirements? Well, we already offer a comprehensive housing counseling program. We have staff capacity to meet the needs of our clients. We've been doing this work a long time, and I think our housing partners would value having greater visibility and credibility. Yes, I agree. It would be nice to have the designation and access to HUD's technical assistance and other training opportunities. Let's download the handbook and see what else we need to do. Thank you. Great job, Josh. Thanks. So Gayla, becoming a HUD approved housing counseling agency does have many benefits. Take a look at the benefits on slide five and you will see that all that comes with the credentials, credibility with community partners, technical assistance, training, even other funding opportunities. Additionally, the next slide shows some bullets to quickly ask yourself and evaluate whether your organization is ready to apply. Some items include, you must meet HUD's eligibility requirements. You must develop a comprehensive housing counseling program. 
You must have resources to run your program, and you must have a one-year track record of running a successful housing counseling program. It must be really important then to self-evaluate whether an organization is truly qualified before attempting to apply. Absolutely. <clears throat> Detailed information and additional requirements of the housing counseling program are provided in the Housing Counseling Program Handbook 7610.1 and can be downloaded from our website. Okay, at hold up just a second, please. My hand went in the wrong place and I made a mistake. So you guys are doing great. Um, you're doing a real good job. Can we start back at... Um, okay, let's start right back with you. Okay. And we can just take, we'll, we'll just do a two right on her. Okay. Uh, take three right on her and three, two, one, cue time. It must be really important then to self-evaluate whether an organization is truly qualified before attempting to apply. Absolutely. Detailed information and additional requirements of the Housing Counseling Program are provided in the Housing Counseling Program Handbook 7610.1 and can be downloaded from our website at www.huxchange.info forward slash programs forward slash housing counseling. I've included a qualifying criteria slide with some important requirements each organization must meet before making that decision to submit an application. They must be a documented 501c3 nonprofit organization, and they must have administered a housing counseling program successfully for one year, and they must be based in the community that they plan to serve. And lastly, they must have sufficient resources to implement this proposed housing uh, plan. But before we move on, I'd like to quickly highlight partnerships. If you do not yet partner with local housing counseling agencies in your area, we highly encourage you to find out, out who else is doing this work in your community. By partnering, you can be, maximize resources and if needed, make intelligent referrals for any clients whose housing counseling needs fall outside your scope. Who can our viewers talk to if they have additional questions about submitting an application to become HUD approved? Gayla, they can contact HUD's Office of Housing Counseling via email and request an appointment to talk to an application advisor. An application advisor will schedule an appointment to discuss the program requirements and the application process. Ken Barry, tell us how we can find a HUD approved agency in our local area. Sure. We have several slides that I'll talk through. First, an individual can call HUD's interactive voice system at 800 569 4287 or download the free housing counseling iPhone app from the App Store, but unfortunately, it's not yet available for Android users. Lastly, they can also go to our webpage on HUD Exchange website. Okay, let's go back, please. Bear with me a minute. Who can our viewers talk to if they have additional questions about submitting an application to become HUD approved? Gayla, they can contact HUD's Office of Housing Counseling. Okay, one minute, please.
Okay, on Gala again. Who can our viewers talk to? And we're on Gala. That's slide nine. Okay, three. Who can our viewers talk to? Two, one. Who can our viewers talk to if they have additional questions about submitting an application to become HUD approved? They can contact HUD's Office of Housing Counseling at housing.counseling at hud.gov via email and request an appointment to talk to an application advisor. An application advisor will schedule an appointment to discuss the program requirements and the application process. Dan Barry, tell us how we can find a HUD-approved agency in our local area. Sure. We have several slides that I'll talk through. First, an individual can call HUD's interactive voice system at 800-569-4287 or download the free housing counseling iPhone app from the App Store. But unfortunately, it's not yet available for Android users. Lastly, they can also go to our webpage on the HUD Exchange website, where consumers can find a list of housing counseling agencies serving their local area, VIA a map outline or zip code. Before we finish, we understand that HUD established its first ever Housing Counseling Federal Advisory Committee. This is pretty exciting for you all, right? Absolutely. Under the Wall Street Reform and Consumer Protection Act of 2010, the 12-person advisory panel was established to help HUD's Office of Housing Counseling improve efforts to provide consumers with the knowledge they need to make informed and lasting housing decisions. They will explore new opportunities to expand access to HUD housing counseling programs, develop new innovative strategies to support community-based housing counseling agencies, and identify methods to leverage our resources to amplify the impact of federally funded housing counseling. Thank you so much, Dan Barry, for sharing with us information on HUD's housing counseling program. Before we wrap up this video, I wanted to highlight the one-page handout we published entitled, Housing Counseling, a Guide for Faith-Based and Community Organizations. This handout can be downloaded on the Faith-Based website at www.hud.gov forward slash offices forward slash FBCI. Okay, let's do that one more time. Okay. And you're good. And three, two, one, cue tell. Thank you so much, Dan Barry, for sharing with us information on HUD's housing counseling program. Before we wrap up this video, I wanted to highlight the one-page handout we published entitled Housing Counseling, a Guide for Faith-Based and Community Organizations. This handout can be downloaded on the Faith-Based website at www.hud.gov forward slash offices forward slash FBCI. This concludes our video. Thank you for watching and have a really great day.